Greetings, I'm presenting a video today on my black metal and death metal cassette collection. This was by request from a subscriber of mine. Uh, and let me tell you a brief story here about how I acquired most of my black and death metal cassette collection. Uh, it was about 20 years ago in the late 1990s, early 2000s, I met a fellow online, his name was Alex, and he lived in Latvia, all the way over in Latvia. And um, at the time, I was really way into and connected to the drum and bass, underground, techno, rave, kind of intense rave music uh, culture, uh, hardcore drum and bass, tech step, fuck step, dark step, uh, stuff like that. And this guy, Alex, was starting to get into that kind of stuff, but he was already way into black and death metal because he ran some kind of fanzine, I believe, out there where he got a lot of these things as uh, review copies uh, from the bands or the labels themselves. So make a long story short, he wanted to find more drum bass. I happened to uh, back then travel a lot to bigger cities where I was able to buy a bunch of the rare drawing based stuff on vinyl CD. And he just wanted me to digitally copy the stuff for him and send it over to him. And in trade, he was going to send me all of his black and death metal cassettes and CDs, by the way. So anyway, that's how I got most of these. Thanks to my good friend, Alex in Latvia. Alex, haven't heard from you in a while. Hope you're doing okay. Anyway, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to start and we're going to go through these pretty quickly. I'm not going to focus a lot on details, but let's start with the godfathers of black metal, Venom. Here's the two Venom cassettes I currently own. One is the Manitou uh, single, and uh, it's got a great Dutch radio interview on it where I believe Venom is fairly drunk. And then uh, here's the Nightmare cassette single, EP, if you will. It includes a live Warhead uh, but yeah, very hard to find these cherished possessions of mine. Moving right along to some more older black metal stuff, Celtic Frost. This is my only Celtic Frost cassette, unfortunately. I love them. I have a lot of their vinyl and CDs, but this is my only cassette. And here, Merciful Fate. Merciful Fate with uh, King Diamond there. It's the Curse of the Pharaohs cassette. Very cool. One of my favorite black metal bands ever, Unleashed. Really love their logo and the music as well. Here's a couple of cassettes I have, Where Life, uh, Where No Life Dwells and um, Across the Open Sea. And you'll see a lot of these cassettes that I got from uh, my friend Alex in Latvia have these uh, little reflective metal stickers on the front. And they are all, of course imports and if my eyes were a bit better i could see that very small text but i believe these are from latvia or finland or you know some country that's not the u.s or the uk right these were uh, a lot of these are, are very hard to find imports so moving right along here's a band called sanity now some of these haven't even been played i have not even played some of these in the 20 years i've owned them um I couldn't really tell you why, just ma mainly because uh, I mostly listen to CDs and records these days, but um, I also wanted to keep these in really good shape because I know that these were not easy to come by. Morgoth, Odium cassette, Sinister, Cross the Sticks. Uh, again, these are likely some kind of uh, imports. They look like imports to me. So yeah, a lot of these things are not from the US. This is Manticore, uh, Ritual Cleansing of the Whore cassette. I can't remember what they sound like. Looks like black metal to me. Here we have Sentenced. I believe th these guys are black metal. I believe Sentenced is black metal. Again, not sure of the country of that one. Brutality. I remember liking this one a lot. I remember actually playing this one. Brutality Screams of Anguish cassette. Uh, nuclear Blast. This was made in the U.S. Here's a couple of tapes by Deicide. 
to your side. Very recognizable logo on their cover there. Uh, that DSI logo is burned into my brain. I've seen it back in the day in so many record stores. And good old Morbid Angel. I've seen some version of Morbid Angel in concert years ago. Abominations of Desolation and Domination cassettes. Again, the import uh, sticker there. And, and I want to say these are from Latvia or some country like that. Cannot remember. Sabbath. I really like Sabbath a lot. Great black metal. Morning has broken. Oh, yeah. Got the focus there. Yeah, Sabbath. I have some of their stuff on CD. I might even have a vinyl record of Sabbath. Not sure. Cannibal Corpse. I, you know, I like Cannibal Corpse, but I've never really been a huge, huge Cannibal Corpse fan. Um, but I do have a couple of cassettes here. Butchered at Birth and Eaten Back to Life. This one, Butchered at Birth, is a rare import. Again, wish I knew exactly where that sticker was from, but uh, it, I know it's not... Uh, not your average cassette there. Monstrosity. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Imperial Doom. Yeah, I remember uh, I remember liking these guys. Let's get the focus going here. Yeah, Imperial Doom. And then what's this? This is Edge of Sanity. I can't remember anything about them. Purgatory Afterglow. But again, I think this is a an import. Canada. This is Canada. A lot of times... Black cassettes are from Canada for some reason. Don't know why. Who's this? Trauma. I'm not familiar with this release. I know I've heard some trauma before, but I don't know about this album, Invisible Reality. Oh, one of my favorites, Bolt Thrower. I loved Bolt Thrower uh, for a long time. I believe War Master is my favorite album by them. So this is the only cassette I have by them. But again, I think this is a, a weird import. For sure. Mortis Scald. Now, if you saw my most valuable cassettes video on my YouTube page, you'll see that this is one of the most valuable cassettes in my collection. Mortis Scald, Dying Remains, Death Metal. Can't remember uh, what country this is from. But nice cassette there. Uh, really great condition, too. Crabathor. I don't, know, I don't remember much about Crabathor. This is their uh, album, Orthodox. And I believe, yes, this is some import here. Czech Republic. Yeah, I think a lot of these might be from Czech Republic. I remember correctly. This one here, Heretic. Breaking Point album. Metal Blade Records. Nice one. Massacre. I remember liking this one a lot. Enjoy the Violence album. Look at that, paper label, parental advisory on the cassette. You don't see that very often. Uh, I can't remember what country this is from, but I think it's like a Saudi Arabia or something like that. I seem to recall that label being from Saudi Arabia, but I'm not sure. It's a couple by Entombed. Uh, it's a band that I don't, I'm not really familiar with. I don't think I'm a huge fan of, but I do have a couple of their cassettes. Left Hand Path and Wolverine Blues. There we go. And on this one here, I remember liking this one, Hypocrisy, Penetralia. I remember liking this. And this is another one, I believe, from the Czech Republic, if I'm not mistaken. Could be, could be. Here's another band I don't remember. Oh, At the Gates. Okay, yeah. I, I don't recall that cover, but I do know At the Gates. Um... I believe this is another Czech Republic one. Here's Death Metal by Embryonic Death. A very becoming, uh, a very sexy cover there. Embryonic Death. And this was made in... I uh, don't know. Ah, USA, no? No, no, not USA. No, somewhere else. Uh... I don't even know. I can't even tell the country. But anyway, embryonic death. Oh, now, I wanted to mention, in trying to figure out what was black metal, what was death metal, what I was going to present to you, I kind of figured I'm going to have to include some grindcore because there's a very fine line. You know, napalm death, 
one of the first death metal bands, if not the first death metal band ever, I believe. They're kind of started out as grindcore, and you know they're they're on this bootleg tape uh, with AC. There's their bad word name, and uh, AC is grindcore, and uh, you know I just figured if I'm gonna include Napalm Death and Carcass, I'm gonna include AC. So here's my bootleg live split with AC. Here's my sealed AC Top 40 Hits cassette, a classic from the AC world. And here is my AC Everyone Should Be Killed sealed cassette. And I believe both these sealed cassettes were gifts uh, to me from Seth Putnam. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in power, as they say. But yeah, sealed Everyone Should Be Killed AC cassette. Uh, more grindcore here, Dahmer. Dahmer Demo, 1996, very hard to find. Uh, some brutal music. And now, moving on to... I'm going to show you my favorite death metal band ever. And they were on the Earache label. And their name is Carcass. I love Carcass. Carcass, yes, my favorite death metal band of all time. And here's a rare Earache promo compilation. Moving on here, we have Reeker Putrefaction by Carcass. This is, uh, I believe, a reissue, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, made in the USA. Very nice condition there. And their classic Necrotism album. The cover was ridiculous. They had a great sense of humor. Still have a great sense of humor, these guys. I still see them every time I can in concert. They never, ever disappoint. Brilliant band. Now, this is pretty cool. A rare promo cassette two-song sampler from their Swan Song album, which I really like. Some Carcass fans think it's a little too polished, a little too clean, a little too pop, but I love that record. And then we happen to have here two sealed Carcass Swan Song album records on, or albums on cassette. Uh, I think I got one or both of these from John Dubuque, which is a Carcass... Carcass's longtime tour manager. Good friend of mine. He's also tour manager for Devo. Here's a couple by Pestilence. Again, uh, import cassettes, probably Czech Republic or uh, something like that. Got a couple of albums here. We have Spheres and Testimony of the Ancients. Can't remember what Pestilence sounds like, but I do like their, uh, their logo. Suffocation. I know I like Suffocation. Great death metal. Pierced from Within cassette. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. This may be from... It's at Roadrunner Records, but it looks like an import to me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure there. Ripping Corpse. I don't think this is very easy to find. Dreaming with the Dead cassette. 1991. Maze Records. Yeah, so... Uh, can't remember what it sounds like, but I'm sure it's some good ripping death metal there. Here's two by Grave, You'll Never See, and Soulless. And you'll see that these are the, some weird import versions here, probably Latvia or, you know, Czech Republic or something. Um, good stuff, though. Gorefest, a couple by them. Mind Loss and False. And these look like they might be oh, no, imports again. Yeah, these are imports. Look at that weird uh, UPC sticker over the UPC code. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Gorefest, great death metal. And to end it all here, we have just a couple of ones. I'm not really familiar with Catacomb in the maze of Kadath. I don't remember what they sound like. I'm guessing it's death metal, but I don't remember much about it. Uh, made in the EEC, another one of those imports. And then we'll end it with death metal band Gutted Corpse with their classic human remains. So, uh, yeah, this one is yet another import. I'm going to say it's from Czech Republic. I don't know. But there you have it. That's all of my black and death metal cassettes. I want to thank you for watching. I will do my black and death metal CD collection sometime. Uh, please subscribe. May the rock and roll gods bless you. And we'll talk to you later.